Welcome to Gamer's Platform. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adam Wolf from Gamer's Platform and today I bring you yet again another update on PUBG. Update number three. Yeah, they're really uh they're really hitting it home with these these naming schemes. Anyway, <clears throat> today's not going to be a very long video just because, or at least this video, and I shouldn't say today, I'm making a bunch of videos today, but it's not going to be a very long video because it's not a very long patch. Uh, it was about 1.1 gigabytes of an update, and then they shut the servers down for like two hours, so Jeremy and I only got a chance to play one game, but we won it, so that was pretty cool. Um, and we're just going to be quickly going over um uh, you know what what they covered um you know now most of you 1.1 gigabytes that doesn't seem like a whole lot just because um well it's not and uh you know a lot of people are expecting a lot bigger fixes that are uh, that should be coming to the game and um it seems as though this patch yet again has missed the mark for a lot of people then i guess for myself as well you know it's not the best patch that they've released, but it's something, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and when you hear the, the list of things, or when you look at the list of things, um, boy, did I, this is um, there's not a whole lot. It doesn't seem like it's one in 1.1 gigabytes worth of stuff. But <clears throat> you know, whatever. We'll we'll just leave it at that. Um, f the first fix that well actually the first and only really change to the game uh is that it introduced they introduced multiple uh pre-match starting areas so basically uh like say for example on erangel you have the starting island whereas before people were uh starting there in droves you know all 100 people would spawn in the same exact spot and apparently this was causing a lot of um server issues Needless to say, a lot of server issues. So what they decided to do um, to, you know, mitigate that a little bit is to separate people. So they'll take large chunks of people. I'm assuming probably in about, you know, 20 people and then there's five different areas. Um, so like 20 people to one area um, is that uh, they use the entire map, not just, you know, one island or something like that. So they split up the player base <clears throat> pre-match so that the server load is a little bit less. People load in faster and um, it supposedly helps with networking and stuff like that. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, it did seem like the game I was playing that you guys are watching right now uh, ran better. Uh, but I did notice that there are, you know, I haven't tested it out in multiple games, but it's possible that there are texture loading issues like just in the pre-match lobby some of the textures had a real struggle just trying to load in so um not sure what's going on there they didn't seem to have like they had those issues before but these literally took even longer than uh before to load in so yeah there's that um and they also removed the weapons on the starting island and clearly they mean erangel because uh, miramar did not have starting weapons um, anywhere in the area that you started in. So, um, those are gone. You can't just play around with weapons anymore. Um, which is fine. Honestly, it's just a lot of noise at the beginning. And it's just like, you know, you're trying to talk to your friends. And sometimes if they're, if you haven't adjusted your voice volume enough that uh, your friends will get drowned out by all the chaos, but that's okay. I mean, it, it, I feel like maybe that could have contributed to uh, network lag, having all those weapons there and people shooting them off and all this other crap. So, um, whatever. That doesn't really impact me. Um, and so that's the only gameplay fix that they did uh, to possibly uh, reduce network issues. The other uh, things that they uh, implemented are they applied new Russian, Japanese, and Chinese fonts. Okay. I doesn't affect me, so it doesn't matter. And then the only bug fix that they actually put through is they fixed issues where players were able to slide jump from prone. I don't know who the hell was doing that. I've never seen that. Not even once. 
but uh, that must have been, I don't know if that was a bug or if that was, they're calling it a bug. I think it was just uh, people exploiting the system that was built into the game. So that's just me, but people were able to slide jump from prone and I don't know how beneficial that is to you, but eh, you know, it's whatever. And that's the patch. I told you it was gonna be really short. Now, the funniest thing though, is the response to this patch which is something I definitely want to uh, show you guys. The response to this patch is brutal because if you scroll down just a little bit right here, okay? Oh, look at that, region lock China, region lock China, re region, re wait, 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 it's constantly 570 pages of mostly just this. How down, how download this, please help. Okay, that person clearly, uh, downgrade, region lock, region lock, region lock, region lock. It's all people saying to region lock China. Now, why do you say this? Mm, because China is where most of the cheaters are coming from. Okay. Why are people doing this? Because they feel as though we as North Americans, and uh, you have to assume that most of these people saying region lock China are not just North Americans, but also maybe Europeans as well. Um, because, what was it, 40, 45 or 49 percent of the player base is from China, and 98 percent of those people are cheaters. So, you know, oh, somebody changed it up a little bit. Um, so as you can see, you can just keep going through all the pages, all the pages, and then you get some comments here and there, uh, but most of the time, you know, people come up with these little things right here, you know, little lists of what they feel as though should be done to fix the issue. Somebody even said, I don't know why they're posting multiple times. Um, some of you people are even saying, if you region lock the game, not just China, but in general, um, it will improve server problems. And that I think, I believe to be true. I mean, if it's locked into your area, then you're only gonna be paired up with people from your country and therefore improving server uh, issues, network issues, and all that jazz. So, you know, if the, and, and quite frankly, if the Chinese want to cheat, let them cheat on themselves. Like, it's just like, let them deal with the cheating with each other. No, don't force us to play with them. So, I kind of agree the whole legion, re, region locking thing. Excuse me. You see this person, China number one. Um, the whole region locking thing, I think, definitely needs to be uh, addressed and possibly taken into consideration because that I think is going to be a huge factor first of all in getting rid of a lot of the cheating and secondly um, you know improving server stability and whatnot and not having lag issues and rubber rubber banding and whatnot so this is pages upon pages upon ch pages of just people saying region lock. Some people have changed it up like Chinese, not all, not all cheater, which is not, it's true. Not all of them are cheaters, but 98% uh, of them are. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Stats are stats, that's what I've read, so. Um, but that's update number three. Really not much there. I just figured I'd bring you guys the little tidbit of information that you may have missed last night. It was released last night, so. Um, I couldn't bring you the video last night because they did it really late, so, um, <clears throat> and I was already uh, working on another video, but hopefully this gives you guys uh, some closure as to what happened last night if you were playing and you were like, I can't get back on, and you didn't really feel like, you know, checking. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and please join me again in the next one where we'll cover yet another update from PUBG. It's probably going to be called update number four. So instead of calling it 1.04, it's just 1.0 update number three or four. So, I mean, you know, whatever. Um, and if you're watching this on Twitch, <clears throat> don't forget to follow the channel so you know when I go live. I go live Saturdays and Sundays, 12 to 6 p.m. I also may go live periodically through the week if I'm not, you know, making one of these videos and whatnot. And uh, in case I feel like, you know, doing that. Um, so definitely uh, follow so that you are notified on your phone when I go live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to check the links in the video description below for all of <clears throat> all of my social media stuff. But more importantly, the Extra Life campaign, uh, we're back in it. 2018 is here and we're here to raise $200. That's right, $200 again. Forgot to mute my phone. Sorry about that. For children's charity, for my local children's hospital. So uh, if you can't 
give don't worry about it it's two hundred dollars i promise you will hit that again no problem but if you can give don't hesitate to donate and uh, if you like this video hit that thumbs up button dislike it if you really think it was a waste of time and uh if you're not already don't forget to subscribe but until next time guys i'm adam wolf this is PUBG, and i will see you guys in the next one